Welcome to the Persona 3 Portable Walkthrough video. In this video, we will be laying the groundwork for the Persona 3 experience. You will be playing as a high school student who has recently transferred to Gekko Khan High School. In his first week at his new school, he encounters a mysterious creature known as a shadow, which causes a previously unknown inner power to awaken, Persona. The Persona is the embodiment of the other self, a self that houses incredible powers that allow your protagonist a chance at defeating this creature of the night. He soon discovers that he shares his special ability with other students. From them he learns of the Dark Hour, a hidden time that exists between one day and the next, swarming with shadows that feed on the minds of their victims. During the day you play as a typical high school student who attends classes and gets to know others through extracurricular activities. Every day you'll have numerous options to decide how and with whom you want to spend your day. Managing these options is crucial, as you have limited time and a finite number of days to reach your goals. It is very important to create as many social links as possible. Become friends with as many people as you can, join clubs, participate in sports, attend student council, and keep developing these relationships. The strength of your social links is directly tied to your strength during the dark hour. Your first social link will be with your fellow dorm mates, known as the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad or C's for short. You have three attributes in the game, academics, charm, and courage. Various activities over the course of the game can act to improve these attributes. They may determine whether you succeed or fail in many activities such as exams and making friends, so try to raise your attributes as much as possible. At the end of the school day, you have the option of returning to the dorm or partaking in other activities, such as exploring the town. Watch movies at the Port Island Station, shop for weapons and equipment at the police station in the Paulonia Mall, or improve your courage in academics by spending time at Iwatodai Mall. During the evening, you can either sleep early, study, or explore Tartarus, the tower during the dark hour, where shadows lurk. To explore Tartarus, speak with Mitsuru at the dormitory. She will gather the gang together and bring you over to the dungeon's entrance. Your objective is to fully explore the tower by defeating the shadows and advancing upward. Each floor will have a flight of stairs that will lead you to the next floor, and occasionally an access point that will return you to the entrance. Also, be on the lookout for any items that may come in handy. When encountering a shadow, you have the chance of attacking first, giving you an advantage when entering into battle. There are seven commands you can use during battle. Hit your enemy with a basic attack, unleash a persona skill, or use items. Other commands include switching personas, tactics, and escaping. Each enemy has its own weakness, so choose your special attacks wisely for a better result. At the end of each battle, you and your equipped persona will gain experience points. You and your persona will level up once you've accrued enough experience. There are two ways of acquiring new personas. By winning a persona card in the game of chance known as Shuffle, which may follow a battle, or by creating new personas in the Velvet Room, a room that exists between dreams and reality. With the help of Igor and Elizabeth, you can create a new persona by fusing two or more of your existing personas. Your new persona will receive additional experience based on the social links it's associated with. That pretty much covers the basics of P3P. Check back for the next video, which will go into detail on some of the new features of Persona 3 Portable. Be sure to get your copy of Persona 3 Portable, available on July 6, 2010, exclusively for PlayStation Portable.